That was a quite good experience. Like we have to learn the different culture, and then we have to we come to know how they approach to their education systems, and what was their motive behind that.、Mm. So that's all the opportunity I got a chance to go into the Germany because of TGGS. เรียนวิศวะสไตล์เยอรมันเจอกันที่ TGGS Hello everybody.、Uh, today we come back again to t j s talk,、um, and this,、uh, for this op- opportunity,、uh, we would like to interview one of our、uh, students come from uh, Myanmar. So, uh, please kindly introduce yourself. Hello everyone.、Uh, my name is Da Pai Wu. I am currently studying the doctoral degree in the TGGS. Yeah. Yes.、Um, I have heard that. Actually, you pursue your master program also at TGS. TGS.、Right? Yes. Yes. What is your major expertise?、Uh, my major expertise is in the electrical field, electronic communication.、Uh, okay.、Um, the program is communication engineering program, right? Yes. Okay.、Um, for your master degree,、um, before you join TGS,、uh, what was the motivation that you had that time? Uh, and encourage you to join TGS. Ah, okay. Before I join TGS, I was working in Singapore for six years as a project manager. Then one day I came to realize that like you have to follow your passion, whatever or in whichever like organization you are working, you need to follow your passions. So then I found out about TGS from the website, and then I. Read through all those、uh, academic、uh, performance that performed by TGGS, and then that draw me my attention. That okay,、uh, why should I go back to my?、Uh, why don't I follow my passion, which my dreams like to、uh, to like to stay in this education field lies forever,、mm-hmm. and that's the reason. Oh yeah,、um, it means that you are interested also in research work, right? Yes, to develop things and teaching people, right? Yes.、Um, when you join TGS at the first time,、um, you apply to TGS、uh, in a regular way, or you apply to any scholarship? Ah, first, like I found out about TGS on the website,、mm-hmm. like and some of my friends, some of my seniors, and they advised me to go for this TGS because of their reputations in the research field. Mm-hmm. And then this industrial oriented research, and the、mm-hmm. academic is that make me more exciting to join TGS. Ah, okay.、Yes. Uh, after you apply to TGS and join TGS,、um, you mentioned about industrial oriented education、uh, that we are offering here at TGS.、Uh, what was your observation that、um, reflecting, which reflects、uh, the nature of、uh, industrial oriented education? Yes,、uh, that. The one thing is that, like,、uh, once I pursue my master degree here, like I have a、uh, one years of theory in the Thailand,、yeah. and another one of、uh, internship and、um, device fabrication in Germany for、yeah. their master thesis. And in Germany, as、uh, most people know, that like we are just only focusing on the items which will be useful in the daily life, or maybe we need to catch up with their ongoing trends. Uh, something like that.、Uh, the thesis that you have done in Germany is in was in、uh, I would say Aachen University, right? Yes. Okay.、Uh, it was quite good experience, right, over there. To... Ah yes,、uh, that was a quite good experience. Like we have to learn the different cultures, and then we have to we come to know how they approach to their education systems, and what was their motive behind that.、Hmm. So that's that's all the opportunity. I I got a chance to go into the Germany because of TGGS. What 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 did you learn or what did you what how what what is the part that you can say? Oh, I learned this a lot when 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 you spend time at the, at the Germany、uh, in Germany. Yes, in Germany,、uh, like we, our thesis is not just like、uh, literature review or just just put some theoretical findings on the papers. We really have to fabricate that items that we are emphasizing on. So for my time is like 
that time is like 5G, right. like 2018, that most of the researchers are emphasizing of 5G fields. So as a part of the like, like energy outsourcing, mm -hmm. uh, we came to have an idea that, okay, what about the, the energy wasted energy from the laptops or mobile ideas, and then we can reuse this energy into somewhere in the future applications or something like that. So from that point, we popped out that, okay, what about we like create a rectifier, which can reduce all of the lost energy from the surroundings. And then we are like turning back those nature, uh, those electrical energy into the, some kind of electric, or uh, some kind of power for those uh, mobile device or something like that. Is it a kind of uh, building antenna to harvest energy in the surrounding and, and then it, uh, back, it right? works like a part of the what we will say that it is called actually most people say it is a retina because it is it includes two parts one is antenna and another is a rectifier ah, okay. so the teachers i am emphasizing on is the rectifier part ah okay yes and what is the maximum power that you can work um, with your rectifier for the maximum power is uh, as my goal it just emphasizing on the sensors so it was like at that time I got around like 20 dBm or something, dBw or dBm. Yeah, it's just kind of a small energy. Small inside. energy just to like, just to activate the sensors. So ah, that okay. whenever there's a energy or electromagnetic wave around there, it's always like recharge my rectifier so that the sensor will not need any of the external battery source. Ah, okay. It's a kind of harvesting energy around yes. in order to to power sensors, to power sensors. Uh, remote let's say, so sensors which are installed somewhere remotely and they don't need an extra batteries or yes or, or energy source to supply them yes. ah, okay sounds really interesting เรียนวิศวะสไตล์เยอรมันเจอกันที่ TGS <laughs>